Hello, my name is Ed Burke and I'm the president of System ID Warehouse and today I'm going to do a book review but also I'm going to talk about leadership in a little different way and one thing that I have seen over the 35 years of being in business and observing a lot of great leaders and and being around a lot of great leaders is they didn't have all the answers but they did have all the right questions so the conventional thinking is the great leaders are you know, they, they're going off into the future and they're solving all the problems and they're leading the charge with all the right answers. The reality is the, 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 the big leaders, the successful leaders, are ones that have all the right questions more so than having all the right answers. So, I, I heard of a book recently, just a brand new book that's come out from Harvard Business Press and it's written by Robert Kaplan. And Robert Kaplan is a, one of the notable authors out of Harvard and also a business consultant. He's written, I think, over 150 articles for Harvard Business Review. He's famous for the Balanced Scorecard and some other strategic books that are really, really good. So when this book came out, it was a little bit different, I thought. And the title of the book is What to Ask the Person in the Mirror, with the subtitle being Critical Questions for Becoming a More Effective Leader and Reaching Your Full Potential. So I thought that was a pretty cool book. So, and what, he, what he's found that over his years of experience is that basically there's the same questions that are used over and over again. And so he's organized the book into basically eight chapters. And in these chapters, he's gone through the, these uh, various questions that you can ask. And, then, and it's not like you have to invent a whole bunch of new questions. In fact, the questions are fairly simple, but they're really, I think they're really thought provoking. And I think the other thing that I think is that when you start asking questions, particularly if you're starting to solve a problem and you, you, you're off to solve the problem and you ask, start asking the right questions, you realize that's not really the problem that we're working on and you get a much richer you know, solution to the problem um, and you go a lot deeper. So I think questions are so important and this book is really, I think, going to be very helpful in helping us ask the right questions. As leaders, we need to be asking the tough questions. And, and we need to do that so we can get clarity on the direction, vision, performance of our, of our organization, of our department, or wherever we're doing. Because if we're not asking these tough questions, then somebody else will be, whether it be the, the market, whether it be the board of directors, or perhaps another manager within the business. So I, it's really important, I think, to ask these questions and then get ahead of it versus getting into a problem-solving mode after the problem has surfaced. So to give you a sense of the book and, and these eight chapters that we talked about, they sort of start with some pretty macro topics and then get down to pretty some specific micro kind of topics. Um, the te chapters are in particular are vision and priorities, managing your time, giving and getting feedback, succession planning and delegation, evaluation and alignment, the leader as a role model, reaching your potential. And the thing I liked about the book is that they were, they were, they were good questions and they were thought-provoking questions, but the best part was, to me, that I was surprised at the book, that it, he gave a lot of very practical applications to it also. So for example, we just, we're just sort of completed our first phase of our planning process for the year, and I actually used the, the vision and priority section of it, and, and used the questions and then it gives a good framework of how I then can present that back as we work with the management team, present that back to the, to the organization. So it's not just about questions, but it's about how to frame it and then make it practical as you go forward. One example of one of these chapters, one of the chapters is called Evaluation and Alignment. And oftentimes in a role as leaders, and when I say leaders, I mean leaders of the organization, it could be leaders of a department, it could be leaders of a certain task force that you're doing. But oftentimes we get comfortable in what we're doing. Things are working well, you know, people don't like the change, and you as a leader even wind up staying at the sort of the status quo. So one of the things he, one of the suggestions he has here and examples is this clean sheet of paper exercise. And the idea is to start with a clean sheet of paper. If you were coming brand new into the organization, you knew the industry, how would you be designing your organization or doing this particular project or whatever it is? As a leader, oftentimes, you sometimes get too attached to what's going on. It's sort of your baby. So what he suggests as that is to do a clean sheet of paper exercise, but take two or three of your key people 
and have them go off and say, look, I, I, I want your suggestions. Um, I might not act on all of them, but I do want to hear all your recommendations in the organization uh, for this particular clean sheet of paper exercise. And I think those sort of things are very can actually have a huge impact on your business and you're going to get some great insight from your organization. So that's just one example. Another chapter is managing your time. And I think another key thing about questions is they're really intended maybe to jar you, to sort of get you thinking differently. So in this chapter about managing time, he has an exercise on how you can itemize your time and look at it. And what I've found when I've done it, and I think he has some examples of it in the book also, is that you wind up spending, let's say, I don't know, 10 hours a week doing a certain task. And you realize that that is probably very value, not value adding task. And when you look at it, you go, well, I need to be spending time more, let's say, focusing on customers. And so, again, these questions are geared in a lot of the exercises are to sort of, as a leader, make sure you're, you're doing, you're, you're focused in the right areas, managing time is a critical area, and to get you being, to perform at your highest potential. This also, to me, ties into another chapter in here, being a role model. Because if you're spending your time doing some administrative work where you maybe should have been spending time visiting customers, which you're probably encouraging your sales force to do, well, you're not setting the right, you're not being the right role model for them either. So again, these, all these things. So my overall recommendation, I think it was a great book. Uh, I'm going to wind up keeping this on my shelf. It's something I'm going to use more and more. So I think it's a great book to, uh, to read, so I'd recommend it. The other one I'll just give, it was interesting, right at the same time, I heard of another book that's a great question. And it was actually from an author here in the area. Um, his name is Greg Buston. And again, I thought it was a great book. His book has a lot more questions in it. I mean, this is about, this is a full book of just questions. Um, so I think actually the combination of both books would actually be good and I'd recommend both these books. So I hope this was helpful to you and stay tuned. Now you'll have more book reviews from me in the future.